Hello, hello, hello to all of my Pisces. This is Queen Amara coming to you with a very special reading on today, Pisces. Hopefully you all are having a great April 4th. I know you are because that's the intention. You said yes, indeed, Pisces. So we're going to get right into it. Ooh, the card was trying to pop out, but it didn't. All right, we're going to get into it. You know that this is a general reading. These cards are the Light Sears Tarot deck by Chris Ann. These cards right here are the Sacred Self-Care Oracle Deck by Jill Pyle. Again, this is a general reading. Take what resonates with you. All of my information is down below if you're interested in a personal reading. Let's do this thing, Pisces. Let's go. Yes, Most High God in the Universe. Please give me a special reading for my wonderful Pisces as it relates to every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions, and spirituality and where they need to take action. What information do we have for my wonderful Pisces? We have these moon phases that happen every single month. We got eight major moon phases that happen every single month, right, without fail. And so we're going to talk about those and we're going to be talking about the number 44 in honor of April 4th. Yes. All right. Let's do this. All right. And I have a new uploading schedule. So you want to go check that out as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. Look at these cards. Pisces. Yes. We have the seven of swords. Getting close. You can see that seven of swords. Uh-huh. Let's see if I can adjust this camera so you all can like really, really, really see. Yes, you can really see. So we have the, like I said, we have the Seven of Swords. We have the Nine of Swords. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we have the Queen of Wands. We have the Page of Cups. Oh, Pisces. We have the Four of Wands. Uh huh. And we have the Two of Wands. Yes, Pisces. Let me tell you, right out the gate, the information that I'm getting downloaded into my spirit right now is that somebody's ex has been seriously thinking about them. Oh, my gosh. I mean, really, after they put you through a whole bunch of mess, manipulation, lying, a whole nine yards, had you in tears, anxiety-ridden, just, just a mess, they thinking about you. They thinking about you. You know why? Because you took that same sword that they used to put that dagger in your heart to cut them out of your life. You said, I am done, done, and super done, right? This time when they try to come back, because they've been thinking about you, trying to come back telepathically, right? Talking about you to people, and this is what I've learned from Pisces. This is what I, Pisces taught me this, and Pisces taught me that, and blah, 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 blah. But when they were with you, they were lying. They were manipulative. It was just a whole bunch of mess that they had going on with them. And so now they are trying to come back telepathically and even partially physically, right? They don't want to completely break the tie with you. So you're going to have to be the one that completely severs ties. And so, so that they don't enter your energy space in the spirit realm, you want to completely do that work to cut them out of your life, right? But even though there was a lot of uh, love there at the time, you're looking at them now like, I wouldn't take this person back no matter what, no matter what they did, no matter what they said, because if I remember how they made me feel while I was in a relationship with them. Your wonderful things are happening for you, Pisces, even including purchasing a new home for yourself. So I see that for you. You're feeling like you're on fire. You're feeling quite magnetic. And on top of that, Hey, finding somebody new is not a problem. <laughs> you got a lot of people who have been showing a lot of interest in you, Pisces. So yeah, that person trying to come back into your space that created all this friction and drama and all of this other stuff, they have no more entry way back into your life. So let's just finish it off, Pisces. Close all access points in the spirit realm and in the natural sense. So if... They had access to sending you a DM, shut that, close that access, cut it off. If they had access to reaching out to you, even through a third party information, whatever, it, whatever, family members, friends, business acquaintances, whatever, cut off all that access because you have too much, you know, um, too many prospects moving forward, too much room for growth moving forward. It, this person right here could affect your job. Because of their energy, they could affect your 
new prospects coming into your life, they can affect everything, including slowing down the process of getting your new home, right? They can do all of that just by their energy still being in your space. That's why you want to close all access points. They shouldn't have any more access to you. <clears throat> Let's talk about the number 44 for just a second because 44 is extremely powerful. Like I said, today is April 4th. We want to talk about the number 44. 44, as a 44, you have great magnetism. That's not big a big surprise for Pisces because you all are magnets anyway. By default, you're divine feminine energy. Your energy is cyclic, so it's directed inward. That's how you show your inner strength. <coughs> People are really drawn to you. They're really, people are really drawn to your energy, right? So as a 44, you have great magnetism, leadership abilities, powers of persistence, and self-control. These qualities actually allow you to reach the highest echelons of power and wealth, giving you a great capacity to serve the world, right? So <clears throat> this person who was sending all these mixed messages while you were in a relationship with them is now trying to come back through telepathically, right? They've been thinking hard about you. They've been talking about you. You know how you hear people say, I was thinking about, I, I was thinking about you and you just called or I thought you up, that kind of thing. This person has been talking about you to other people, speaking highly of you, but when they had you, they didn't know how to treat you right. They refused, they, well, they knew how to. They refused to do it because of their own insecurities, right? So knowing that with you, Pisces, um, because you're already an empath, you are a uh, person who it has the ability to exist between two worlds and a person who is highly empathetic to even their insecurities and, you, and you're a person who fights for the underdog and all those wonderful things, all of this had to happen so that you could see how valuable you are to the universe, right? This person would have taken stone cold advantage of you. Like, first of all, I want you to say I'm a Pisces. I'm highly empathetic. I'm artistic. I'm emotional in a good way. I am selfless. I'm a natural healer. I am intuitive. I am gentle. I am wise. I am compassionate. And I am a God, right? And so... Had you stayed in this relationship with this person, you would not have been able to fully utilize all the things that the universe needs you to do, right? To actually heal people. And so now you're stepping into, your energy is balanced out. The only purpose that that person showed, the only purpose that person had in your life is to show you what you don't need in your life, right? You don't need that kind of out of balance energy in your life. So that had to happen the way that it did so that you can see, you know what? I deserve better. So let me go after better. First and foremost with me. Let me balance out my energy and go after everything. So now you're getting the house. Now, you know, prospects are just like all over the place. And it's like, oh my God, you know what? Now this person is interested. That person, your mood is a whole lot lighter. You're happier. You're just doing better. This person feels that and they're like, huh, let me see how I can wiggle my way back into Pisces life. You're like, huh, no sir, no ma'am, no you will not be, yes. So let's see what else the rest of these cards have to say, Pisces. And kudos to you, really kudos to you. These moon phases happen every single month. You have the new moon, the waxing crescent moon, the first quarter moon, which is a half moon. You have the waxing gibbous moon, you have the full moon, the waning gibbous moon, the last quarter moon, which is what we're in right now. Do not let this person back into your space, Pisces, because you feel like, okay, we got this, this half moon. Sometimes I'm thinking about them. I'm kind of on the fence about it. No, you're not. You're not on the fence. Keep moving forward. This person is thinking you up telepathically. They're trying to reach you telepathically, trying to get all in your mind and your energy space. Nope, 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 nope. Don't go back. But something new and exciting is right, right around the corner. That's right. New and exciting opportunities. You've been wanting to buy a house. Boom, that's coming. You've been wanting to be in a nice, healthy, balanced out relationship where you are whole, that other person is whole. You're, you're, you're balanced out. They're balanced out. You don't need to go back to unbalanced energy. Mm -mm. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. Please, please don't do it. Listen. You got to remember something too, Pisces. This person is responsible for you being emotionally wounded when it comes to your money. Look, 
right when you were at that vault, here comes that person into your life, right? You were at that vault. You had to go through another cycle, right? And so here comes that person adding insult to injury into your life, causing you to become even more emotionally wounded. But I'm telling you, you're right here at the vault. Do not go backwards to that person. Don't. <clears throat> don't do it Pisces here we go page of pentacles you're even looking for new windows of opportunity when it comes to your money you know why because your focus is tight now that person is going to try to come back telepathically like a knight in shining armor right see <clears throat> they're going to try to come back to or try to appeal to they think that part of you that is broken, but that part of you is no longer broken. It's actually balanced out. Your energy is healed now. So they're seeing you as the knight in shining armor. So that's how they're going to say, oh, we're mirror images of each other. I've worked on me. You've worked on you. So now let's try to get this back on track. <laughs> Run. <laughs> Run. Run, Pisces, run. Look, Knight of Pentacles, you've been working hard and earning your money. Stay focused, Pisces. Stay focused. And not only that, get to your crown chakra so you can really see things from a God level of clarity because that's going to keep you focused. That's really, really what's going to keep you more focused. And without them, look at the multiple streams of income. So don't fall into the trap of thinking, okay, I'm making more money. You know, my life is better. Maybe we can do it, get another chance. Mm -mm. Nope. You better remember what they did to you before. <clears throat> you better remember what they did to you before, Pisces. They haven't changed. They have not changed. Yeah. They will try to woo you back with a bunch of things, Pisces. But I'm telling you, stay focused. Stay focused. Stay focused, Pisces. Stay focused. Like I said, this is a half moon. So this is where some um, adjustments are really, really required. You know, seeing that you're already heading in the right direction, there's no reason for you to go back or even look back or even think about going back, right? You got to go back and re I mean, not go back. You're re reevaluating that situation, saying, you know what? I've tried with this person on numerous occasions. Nothing has changed. I'm sure nothing has changed now. So, no, there's no reason for you to go back. Let's see. That's right. Keep on saying those positive affirmations to yourself. Four plus one is five. It's a very pivotal point in your life. Like I said, you're halfway there. Do not look back or go back. When that person had you, they didn't know how to treat you. Guess what? If you go back, not only are you completing, you're going through another cycle all the work that you've been doing moving forward would have been in vain. So, yeah, you don't want to go back. There's nothing back there for you. Just keep moving forward because it's so much better for you that lies ahead where your energy is complete. You're, meet, you're going to meet a person that's whole as you, just as whole as you are. They, they are. They're not going to seem like the knight in shining armor because that's exactly who they are. And so your energy is matching their energy. So you don't want to go back and pick up trash. That's what I have for you, Pisces. Have a great 4-4. Bye.